AMS 2140 General Overview. In this tutorial, I will present a general overview of the AMS 2140. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. When you turn on the AMS 2140, it will automatically return to the last open application, in this case, Route Mode. Press the Home button to return to the Home screen, and we will start the tutorial from there. On every screen, there are up to 12 function keys, 6 on each side of the screen. In some cases, there are additional keys available, and you will see the Alt key at the top of the screen. You can use that key to toggle to a second page of function keys. We will review all the function keys briefly, starting with those on the Alt-1 page. F2 File Utility Selecting F2 prompts a warning that you will have to close the existing program to proceed. I will select Yes, and now you are in the File Utility module. Here you see a list of data files that are active on the analyzer. You can tell by the file extension there are two route files, a transient file an Analyze file, two balancing files, and another Analyze file. You can scroll through them using F2 and F3. Use F9 to select one of the files, which then lets you use F7 to delete the file if you choose. If you are working with an external SD card in the analyzer, you can copy files from the analyzer memory to the card. F4 Set Display Units From this screen, Use F2 to specify how you want to see the acceleration signal. Note that changing the display units here will change the display for all previously collected data in the analyzer. For example, if you select Peak and go back to look at previously collected data, it will be displayed in Peak. If you want to see that data again in RMS, you simply come back to this screen and select RMS. Similar is true for F3 Set Velocity, where you can select from RMS, Peak, Peak to Peak, Average, and DB. The same is also true for F4 Set Displacement and F5 Set Non-Standard. Using F6 Set Units, you can choose between English, Metric, or SI units. And again, your changes will apply to all historical data but can be changed back using F6 again. F8 Set DB Reference Here you can change the reference values for your data. F10 Change Y-Axis Type You can display the Y-Axis as either linear or log. The same applies to the X-Axis using F11. F12 Changes the frequency units between Hertz and CPM. F5 Communication Setup from here, you can use F1 Set Connect port to toggle between USB or Ethernet. If your unit has wireless capabilities, you will be able to choose that as well. F6 Program Manager allows you to update the firmware on your analyzer, as well as add or delete applications. Note that some applications require a license for uploading. The right side of the home screen features the five main functionalities of the analyzer. There are detailed tutorials on each of these programs, so here we will just take a quick peek inside each application. F7 Advanced Analyze F8 Route Data Collection F9 Balance F11 Advanced Transient Here you will collect a relatively long waveform and have all the traditional calculations such as snapshot spectra, waterfall plots, orbits, peak phase, and cascade. F12 ODS Modal Here you see the Alt-1 button, which indicates there is a second screen of functionality available. Let's look at the Alt-2 page. F1 version shows the current version of all software on the analyzer, along with its build date. F2 General Setup Use F2 Set Keypad Beeper is specific to the beep you hear when pressing a function key. F3 Set Status Beeper 
turns on and off an audible beep when data collection is completed. F4 set standby time specifies the amount of time the analyzer will remain on if there is no activity. F5 set backlight time specifies the amount of time the backlight will remain on if there is no activity. F6 set print mode allows you to choose to send screen captures from the data collector to your PC or to an external SD card as a bitmap or JPEG. You can also disable this function. Many of the applications feature a print button that will make a screen capture of the visible data for storage. This key is specifying the storage. F8 set backlight. There are four options, low, medium, high, or auto. Auto means that the analyzer will adjust the backlight to the environment automatically. F10 calibrate touchscreen. Moving to keys on Alt-2, we see the F3 set warning level. F4 set hold time defines the number of seconds you must hold down the on or off switch for the analyzer to turn off. F3 set time defines the time, date, time zone, and display format at the top of the screen. F4 memory utility. Here, you see detailed information about the analyzer memory. Note that the amount of free memory is also displayed on the home screen. F5 Battery Utility Similar to the memory utility, you can find detailed information here, but the remaining battery life is also available on the home screen. F6 View Error Log If you experience an error using the analyzer, a log file will be created that you can access from this screen. F7, Connect for Printing. This is where you can connect the analyzer to the software on your PC for transmitting screen captures. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS 2140. Thank you for watching. Thank you.